Welcome to our deep dive into a topic that's a bit on the edge. Figuring out if there's someone in your life who's not just bad news, but might actually be bringing a whole lot of negativity, maybe even intentionally. We're talking about the idea that some people might be in your life for all the wrong reasons, causing chaos, spreading negativity, and generally making your journey tougher than it needs to be. We've all met people who seem to drain our energy or bring us down, but what if it's more than just clashing personalities? Today, we're getting into the signs that someone in your life might be sent by the devil, the presence of disruption. Okay, the first sign that you've got someone in your life who might have been sent by darker forces is if their presence is causing significant disruption. It's like everywhere they go, chaos and confusion just seem to follow. Ever noticed how things started to go downhill the moment this person or these people walked into your life? That's not a coincidence. It's all because of this individual or group. They're on a mission, an assignment if you will, and not a good one. Their goal? To wreak havoc in your life. This could manifest in many forms. Your home feeling less like a sanctuary and more like a battleground. Your mind a constant haze of confusion or even your health taking unexpected turns for the worse. They're tasked with completing this mission to sow seeds of discord wherever they go. It's essential then to remain vigilant. Don't be swayed by outward appearances of kindness or benevolent gestures. These can often be a facade. Remember, not everyone who walks into your life comes with good intentions. Some, unfortunately, come with a very specific agenda to derail you to lead you astray. They were sent by negative forces to disrupt your peace and happiness. Therefore, it's crucial to be discerning about who you let into your life, ensuring you surround yourself with those who genuinely wish you well and contribute to your growth and well-being. Constant negativity and teardown. Moving on to the second sign that someone might be playing a disruptive role in your life on behalf of darker forces. This person is a constant source of negativity and seems to have a mission to tear you down, not build you up. Every interaction with them leaves you feeling smaller, doubting your worth and questioning your ambitions. This individual has a knack for negativity. Try sharing your dreams or achievements with them and watch how quickly they dismiss or belittle your aspirations. It's as though they have a filter that turns all positive thoughts into negative ones. They are the voice that says you can't when you're telling yourself you can. Their presence in your life is like a dark cloud that blocks out the sunlight of encouragement and positivity. They're not just casual with their criticism either. It's targeted, designed to hit where it hurts. They aim to plant seeds of doubt in your mind, making you rethink your goals, your abilities, and even your value. It's a deliberate attempt to keep you from reaching your potential, to hold you back while they or others advance. This behavior is their assignment, their role, orchestrated by those forces that do not wish to see you succeed. Their goal is to ensure you remain stuck, doubting yourself and your path. So it's crucial to recognize this pattern for what it is a strategy to derail you from your journey of growth and success. Stand firm in your convictions and surround yourself with those who uplift you and recognize your worth. Spiritual and mental drainage. The third sign that you've encountered someone with less than pure intentions, potentially guided by darker forces, is if you consistently feel spiritually and mentally drained after spending time with them. This isn't about the normal ebb and flow of energy that comes from daily interactions. It's a profound depletion, a feeling as if your very essence has been siphoned away. Have you ever felt like you're an energetic battery and someone just plugged in, leaving you empty? That's what it's like. These individuals can be likened to energy vampires, thriving on the vitality of others to fuel their own needs or agendas. The joy, the hope, the spiritual peace you once felt seems dimmer, harder to access after you've been in their company. They specialize in negativity, often veering conversations toward gossip, criticism, or pessimism. It's as if they carry a cloud of darkness with them, and when they're near, you can't help but be enveloped in it too. 
Your spirit, which once soared, now feels heavy, burdened with doubts and negative thoughts that weren't there before. This draining effect is no accident. It's a part of the destructive mission they've been charged with, to pull you away from your source of light and spiritual strength. Recognizing this energy drain is crucial. It's a call to protect your space, to sever ties that bind you to negativity, and to reconnect with those sources, people, practices, beliefs that replenish your spirit and affirm your purpose. Encouragement of Sinful Behaviors Here we are at sign four, which is quite telling. This one is about those individuals in your life who not only engage in behaviors that go against your moral or spiritual values, but actively encourage you to join them. It's as if they're on a mission to lead you astray, to distance you from your path of righteousness and drag you into the mire of their choices. These people operate under a guise of freedom or fun, but their intentions are far from benign. They seem to revel in activities that you know, deep down, are harmful or wrong, whether it's indulging in excessive drinking, engaging in dishonesty, or worse. And they want to pull you into these activities, making them seem normal, even desirable. Their persuasion can be subtle or overt, but the message is the same. Come join me. What's the harm? They dismiss your hesitations, mock your discipline, and belittle your attempts to live according to your values. It's as though they've been assigned to test your resolve, to see if you'll falter and abandon your principles. This behavior is a clear indicator that their presence in your life is not for your benefit. They've been sent to disrupt your spiritual journey, to sever your connection with your higher self and the higher power you believe in. Recognizing this sign is crucial. It's a call to reaffirm your commitment to your values and to distance yourself from influences that seek to compromise your integrity. Surround yourself with those who respect your beliefs and encourage you to maintain them, not those who lead you into temptation. Sowing seeds of doubt about your faith and values. Finally, we reach the fifth sign, and it's one that strikes at the very core of who you are. There's someone in your life who seems hell-bent on sowing seeds of doubt about your faith, your values, and your moral compass. This individual, perhaps unknowingly but effectively serving darker forces, engages in subtle, sometimes not so subtle, conversations aimed at questioning the foundations of your beliefs. They might present themselves as just playing devil's advocate or as genuinely curious, but the pattern is clear. Every discussion with them leaves you more confused, questioning your convictions and feeling spiritually unsettled. They challenge your faith, not with the intent of constructive dialogue, but to undermine the very principles you hold dear. This person's mission is to shake your confidence in your beliefs, to make you wonder if the path you've chosen is indeed the right one. Their tactics might include highlighting contradictions, pointing out perceived flaws in your faith, or comparing your beliefs unfavorably with other worldviews, all under the guise of just talking or exploring ideas. The danger here is not in the questioning itself. After all, questioning is a healthy part of any faith journey, but in the intent behind it. Their goal is not to enlighten, but to erode, not to share, but to subtract from your spiritual wealth. Recognizing this sign involves understanding that your journey of faith is personal and sacred. It's about knowing that true spiritual growth comes from constructive questioning that leads to deeper understanding, not from doubts planted to lead you astray. Surround yourself with those who respect your journey, who encourage you to explore your faith in ways that strengthen rather than weaken your spirit. Remember, the goal is to build a life aligned with your deepest values, supported by those who understand and uplift your spiritual path. As we wrap up our exploration of these five signs, it's crucial to remember that navigating life's complex spiritual landscape requires discernment, wisdom, and a strong sense of self. Encountering individuals who challenge us, intentionally or not, is part of our journey. Yet. How we respond to these challenges defines the trajectory of our spiritual path 
and personal growth. Recognizing the signs of those who may not have our best interests at heart is not about fostering fear or suspicion, but about empowering ourselves to make choices that align with our highest good. It's about understanding that our spiritual journey is precious and should be protected from influences that seek to divert or diminish it. Thank you for sharing this time and exploration with me. May your path be illuminated with wisdom, peace, and the company of souls who truly cherish and support your journey. Until we meet again, walk in light and love always.